Well, uh, I would like to go ahead and honor everybody's time and just begin as quick as we can so that we can enjoy our evening, but also get some juicy uh, gold nuggets from our guests tonight. I'm Kevin Lee. For those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm a public speaker. I'm an author. In fact, I'll go ahead and show you my book. So this uh, beautiful little book, uh, I'm very proud of because this is my first international best-selling book. I reached number one in Amazon because of a lady that I'll be mentioning in just a moment. And uh, this book is called Your Divine Purpose, A Journey to Fulfillment and Legacy. And it really is uh, the core of everything I do to help people discover what they want in life. What are you meant to do in life? What are you great at? What are you not great at? And you can let somebody else do that while you rise and shine. And let's help you find your purpose and go serve the world. And so that's why that book came to be. And uh, so this evening is an expert, one of my expert masterclass series where I bring in an expert, somebody that I've worked with, that I've witnessed do, uh, walk the talk. And, uh, but I know that they actually will take care of you, my tribe, my people. And uh, this evening we have Kathy Kay, and I'm going to just share a little bit about her background so you get a feeling for where she comes from and who she is. And just she's an amazing lady. So I'm going to jump right into it. Uh, Kathy Kay, she's a marketing powerhouse. She's an international best selling uh, author. She has over 20 years experience and she specializes in social media marketing and creating bestsellers. Since 2015, as a speaker and an author's muse, Kathy's been able to, to, uh, to help nearly 700 people. That's 700. Those people to become bestsellers. And that's incredible to me. She's a multipreneur for sure. She's a mom. Uh, Kathy teaches her clients to share their stories. And that's critical. It's not just what you have to say, but the stories of where you've been. And to really help them build the know, like, and trust factor, which is the core of business. Kathy's created a very unique formula uh, by which she helps her clients achieve their author and business goals. And she's been invited onto many stages, especially several notable names, such as celebrity figure Lisa Nichols, uh, who uh, you may know her as from The Secret. She's been on Oprah. To, for, we know her as the number one motivational speaker in the world. And Kathy's uh, formula, signature formula, is even still being taught on Lisa's campus in Speak and Write to Make Millions. Kathy's method of marketing and her publishing, they're super unique, very unprecedented, and she continues to make true on the promise to make a best-selling author out of every single client, every single client, that means 100% success rate, and I've seen it. And so Kathy and her team are taking the world by storm. And I want to welcome you to my Garden of Soul Stars, Miss Kathy Kay. Thank you so much for having me. I You're welcome. always Good love working you. with your tribe. And we even have, you're a best-selling author. We have a few other best-selling authors here tonight. Good to see you guys. Joy and Chantha, May Rose is working on her book. Love, love seeing that. all you guys here. Love seeing some new faces, some repeat. Uh, Mariana, I remember uh -huh. seeing you at the last event. Good to see you. Chantha, I have your book Hi. on my desk. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right. It's so nice to be here with you guys tonight. Great. And Welcome, Kathy. Yes. So I hope uh, those of you who have your book done, I hope you brought your book with you. We're doing Clarity Hot Seats uh, near the end of the presentation. That'll be a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and jump in and I'm share my screen with you guys here. So here's a little bit about what you can expect. First, we're going to start with where are you in the process? So uh, recently, just last month, I did a few other workshops with Kevin, Write Your Best Seller in One Hour. Many of you have uh, been to my signature workshop. So if you haven't gotten your book done yet, that's where we start. Or if you're working on book number two. Uh, seven ways to make money with your book, because we want to be able to leverage that book to do bigger, greater things, of course. Uh, Clarity Hot Seats. Uh, some of these are actually up um, on YouTube with Kevin uh, in his account. So I think you can still see replays of these if you haven't already, depending on where you are in the process. And of course, tonight, book to 100K course, because once you get the book done, Let's leverage it to do really amazing things, make money, uh, serve from your overflow, right? Big things. So 
uh, some of what you can expect in this specific PowerPoint presentation, what people buy. It's important to know. If you want people to buy from you, you need to know what they're going to buy. Uh, let's break down the real real of how do you generate $100,000 from your course? So people always, they ask like, yeah, but how? How? <laughs> it's not rocket science, I promise. Uh, course content. What do you do about your course content? And then the proven four-part formula, because not just the course, you also have to have a sales funnel, partnerships, and media to drive traffic and generate $100,000 over and over and over, right? And then your next steps. So let's go ahead and get started. What people buy is results. We often talk about process. We get very, very excited about our process. And um, if people ask you, what is your course about? What is your book about? What do you do? We often answer with, um, I help them find clarity. I have this formula. I you know, help them with this. They discover that. But what's the result of that? Because what they really want is the result. The result is they want more income or they want a relationship or they want better quality relationships or they want to be healed of a disease or they want to be able to live with and cope with a disease better or they uh, want to write a book or uh, so many of the things, but it's the result. They want to lose weight. So for example, if I go to uh, Amazon to get a book on how to lose weight, I'm not going to look for a book specifically, you know, how do I keto? How do I clean out my cupboard for weight loss? How do I, I'm not looking for method. I'm looking for result. So you wanna keep in mind, what is the result they're going to get from your course? That is what they buy, not the how. Because ultimately, if you tell me that you can generate X amount of dollars or get the perfect relationship or have the ideal body that you want in 30 days and it's gonna cost this much, all you have to do is do what I say. Like, I'm all in. I don't know what you're gonna ask me to do, but I'm gonna do it, <laughs> right? Because it's the result. And then ultimately they buy from you. They want you because Many of us are sharing things that aren't specific to just us. There's other people who talk on this topic. You know, Kevin, he has a very specific style, very specific personality and way of delivering things. And it's just so upbeat. I listened to a video of his this morning. I couldn't believe it. But the thing is, is other people talk about how to find your purpose. But when Kevin is for you, like it resonates and you want to hear it from him the way he says. And you want to be able to ask him questions. There's other people who do it. They're not Kevin, right? So you buy specifically from him. You want to spend time with him. You want to hear his opinion, his expertise, his connections. So that's what somebody wants of you. So knowing what people buy is very important for creating your course. So we're going to break down the $100,000, uh, how it works for different kinds of courses in different structures. There's three of these. So one of these is likely to fit your uh, topic, your results, because people will pay a different amount for a different result. So if you're going to help them generate a lot of money, so for example, one that comes to mind is... Um, one of our authors, she helps people write grants for millions. So her expertise and the result that she gets for people is worth a lot of money. And then I have clients who sell diets and weight loss. We pay less for those. There's so many reasons why. You guys already know, right? Like you can see what I'm saying. So depending on the result that you're providing, people are willing to pay for that, okay? 
So this first breakdown, let's say you have a three month course that's $997. The result that this gets is something they're willing to pay $997 for and they can afford to easily pay four payments of just $249 a month. So let's say this is um, how to find the love of your life or how to improve your relationships. In three months, I could find the love of my life because I'm single, you know, or I could improve my relationship with my teen daughter. I went through that. I paid a lot of money to fix that and it worked well, totally worth it. So it would be easy to commit to a $250 a month payment for just four months to get that result. Heck yeah. So if you have five students who enroll in your program at $997, that's $24,927. Now, if you do that three month course four times a year with 25 students each time, that's $100,000 a year. More students, more money, more frequently. You see what I'm saying, right? Next one we'll look at. So for a 10 week course, that's $2,000. Maybe that's a find your purpose and create your roadmap. Like how important is it that we find our purpose? When, when you have that moment where you know you're not living in your purpose, you know you're meant for more, it's, it's such a driven feeling. We've probably each of us been there at some point and have overcome that because we're now living our purpose. But you know that feeling and you just do about anything to solve it, right? Because you just want to live in your purpose and you can't start soon enough. That's absolutely worth $2,000 to find out what your purpose is and have a plan to get there. So four payments of $500 is very simple for that result. Absolutely sign me up right? So 13 students at $2,000 each is $26,000. Four times a year, that's $104,000. So for a lower end course, so let's say this is diet, nutrition, fitness, the one that's highly competitive, and uh, we have less belief in ourselves that we'll accomplish it. It's that end. But more people are looking for it too. We still want the solution. We're willing to try again and again. <laughs> so imagine your course is a three-month course for $600 for easy payments of $150. That's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. So $600, you enroll 42 students. That's $25,200. You do that four times a year. That's $100,800. It's not rocket science. It's really pretty simple. Your biggest question is, how do I get 42 students? Or how do I get 25 students? Or how do I get 13 students? I will solve that for you before the end of these slides, okay? So if I, if I tell you I have the how, are you willing to create a course and teach people? It's really that simple. So let's start with your course content. What is your course content. You already wrote the dang book. You created the course content. <laughs> it can really be that simple. It can really be that simple. Truly, guys. Like, open up the table of contents. So, Chantha's book, thank you for being here, Chantha, and I'm just gonna thank you. pop your book open here. So, it actually is uh, in five sections. And it has multiple chapters. Um, so I love the way that it's outlined too. So in the first part, understanding the universal laws. What a great introduction. And then how disease is created in the body and understanding your body and mastering things about your body. So it would be very simple. Let's see. So there's four sections. These are really at least two weeks each. So that's 10 weeks. And if we added a welcome week at the beginning and a continued success week at the end, that's a 12-week course. Very simple. She could have a live Q&A every other week, 
have assignments that she gives them to do some uh, worksheets, some handouts, that kind of thing to accompany the content that is already in her book. All she has to do is tell them, uh, read part one, and here is your follow-up worksheets to do before we meet together at the two-week mark and come join me for live Q&A. Let's discuss it. Then she can talk a little bit more about all the things that she didn't get in the book in that section, because there's so many. And then she can answer all their questions because they're always going to ask, yeah, but what about me? It's unique to me. How about this different thing? For no, the answer is almost always the same, but we think we're alone. We think it's different for us, but almost always you're gonna tell them, oh no, it's, it's the same for you. It's exactly <laughs> like I wrote in my book, right? <laughs> but they wanna hear it straight from you and they might have an additional question that's not in your book. But the content, super simple. So no brainer, we already solved that. Moving on. You want to, when you put this together for them to consume, keep it simple. Keep it simple for you and keep it simple for them. You already did the hard part. And this is going to be the hard part for them too. They have to consume and understand your content, right? They have to actually implement it and do it. So then you want to follow up with worksheets and things like that. Now, whenever I do a new project, I do it in three parts. Level one, the minimum of what you need to get the result. Level two, add automation. I love when I get to add automation. <laughs> and then three, all the bells and whistles you've ever dreamed of. And once that's done, you really don't ever have to touch it again, except to update a little something here and there. Okay. But first thing you want to do is start generating some income. You don't want it to take three months to a year to build, build, build. I get really frustrated with the programs that are out there that have these like long methods of courses where you build out stuff and it just takes forever. It's not necessary. When I first started my nine week bestseller formula, which is the course that Kevin took with me and wrote his number one international bestseller. So very proud of that. Uh, when I first started that course, I just simply had it in a Facebook group and that's where we met, but they got the result. That's the key. So let's move on to talk about that level one. Okay. So create a sales page because you have to be able to take the sale, right? That's an exchange of energy between the two of you. They're saying, I'm giving you this energy because you're going to give me your energy. Very important exchange. You have to have that. So then the next thing is you have to have a place where you can all meet together. And that would be in Facebook where you can provide them materials, downloads, videos, replays, anything that you want to engage with them. And you can do that like that. Creating a Facebook group doesn't take long. You can go check out YouTube. It'll tell you how to do it. And then weekly access to you on Zoom or every other week, however you want to do that. So have those three elements and be able to get them the results that they're paying for. That's really it. If you get them the results, they don't care about the bells and whistles. They don't care about all the extra hoopla. Just keep it simple and get them the results. And you can take money now. Like there is very little barrier between you and them. You could go and create the Facebook group right now, create the sales page right now, put your first couple of students into your group, schedule your first class and put some handouts in there for the first week. And before the next week shows up, before you're in week two, then you'll prepare two more handouts or some more handouts to put up in week two. You don't have to build it in entirety. Like if you've ever been through any of Lisa Nichols's courses, she builds her courses in flight. <laughs> Kevin, did you raise your hand? Uh, yes. I, yeah, that's really true. Uh, quick question. You had mentioned sales page. And mm -hmm. I see that there's a Stripe in checkout. Are, does Stripe give you a sales page or do, would we need to have a sales page somewhere 
set up? Very simply, Stripe allows you to create a sales page cool. inside of their platform. So it doesn't have to be anywhere else. And if you happen to use PayPal, you can uh, create a sales page through PayPal. Oh, even I didn't, I didn't know that either. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, it could just be so super simple, guys. It doesn't have to be all the bells and whistles from day one. People just want the results and they want access to you. So now, how do you get the people into your sales funnel? How do you get them to make that purchase? So you need traffic from social media, stages, events, in-person, online, events you attend, events you create, any of those things that you're going to naturally organically do. In addition to that, for the first time ever, I have found a partner to partner with, a nonprofit that actually does what they say and produces results at a price point we can all afford. So someone who can drive traffic for you. It's been a long time coming. Um, I have seen companies that charge a lot and get great results. I've seen companies that promise good results at a very small fee and they just don't work out. I finally found one and I'm giving you guys the hookup. So that is another great source to drive traffic to your sales page. Bring them into your Facebook group, nurture them, bring them to your webinar. Your webinar is, you should have like a signature webinar you can use when you joint venture with others. We're getting to that part next. And then ultimately you need them to go to that sales page and make the sale. So they might come to you from a uh, sales call and go straight to the sales page, or they might come to you in your Facebook group and then the webinar and then the sales page, or from the webinar to the sales page, or they might just go straight to the sales page from a link. The point of the sales funnel is to go from lead and contact down to the sales page right? That's why it's called a sales funnel. Part three, JV partnerships. Um, I'm connected to a really wonderful community of people whose goal is just to joint venture partnership. What does a joint venture partnership look like? Me being here tonight, speaking to Kevin's tribe, hanging out with you guys. This is a joint venture. He invited me to speak in his tribe. And then this Thursday, I have a partner that's going to speak into my tribe. That's a joint venture. We're doing this together, right? So it can look many different ways, but this is a really great example that you're living tonight because you came here through Kevin, but I'm here to be with you. So when you're looking at a joint venture partnership, you want to look at someone that is at the same pace that you are, or maybe a little higher if you're lucky. And then that way it's a fair exchange. So you have 300 people on your email list and they have 300 people on their email list. Or maybe you have a uh, thousand, 2000 people on your Facebook and they only have 10, but they have a good list and you don't have a good list. You know, equal. You want to be able to help each other to grow. So you could swap promo. You could swap webinars. You know, Kevin comes speak in my group. I speak in his group, that kind of thing. You can do a summit together. Summits are really great for building lists. You could have 10 people get together. I'll do a summit. They're all bringing new people in to share or even speaking on somebody's stage. Um, when I speak on Lisa's stage, it's a joint venture partnership because she's bringing me to introduce to her tribe and it benefits them. And then she gets a percentage of that. Like that just makes sense. It serves the tribe. It helps me. It helps her. That's exactly the kind of thing that you guys can do. And I love teaching you guys about joint venture partnerships. We dive deeper into that in uh, Authorpreneur Network, sometimes in Best Sellers Guild, because having these connections, it's a great way to grow quickly. Also, you don't feel alone. 
often we're alone in business. In the corporate world, you get to celebrate each other's birthdays and you get to celebrate promotions. And when you're sitting at home by yourself, nobody knows that you just landed that really huge contract and you're like, yay. <laughs> but when you have partners, joint venture partners, they understand you, they get you. You can call them up and go, you'll never believe what happened. And they'll be like, yay, <laughs> they celebrate you. It's really good all the way around. And then finally, media. Once you have your course to sell, your sales funnel to funnel people through, like what do you do with leads right now? Do you have something to put them through into a system? You have to have that. So once you have that system built and it makes sense and ultimately lands them on your sales page, then you need to drive traffic to it through joint ventures is easy. But ultimately, when we get you into media, you'll be able to drive large amounts of traffic. Having a best-selling book is one of the easiest ways to get into media. Leveraging your credentials as being a number one international best-selling author will help you get on stages, will help you get into the media, will help you be able to write articles for major publications. Like having a book really is the key to opening some of those. And in the end, I want you to think about somebody is waiting on you. You've been putting it off too long. I'm calling out some of you here. You know who you are. <laughs> they needed you last week. They needed you last year. They need you next week. So don't take a year to put together a dang course. Just get them in a group and help them. And let them pay you for that. And about pricing it, if you're just doing level one and you're just in a Facebook group and you would normally charge them, let's say $2,000, but you don't feel comfortable doing that just yet, tell them that it's $2,000, but you're doing beta testing and giving them a 50% discount. You'll feel good, they'll feel good, it makes sense. And then you don't have to raise your prices because they're already $2,000. You just give a discount. So then the next time, maybe it's only a 25% discount. And then maybe it's just a 10% discount. And as you build up and you build your confidence and you get the results, you're going to want to say, hmm, maybe I'm going to increase this to 3000 now because I'm really getting these results and we've got the whole system built out and it's finely tuned. Totally worth it. People are willing to pay for the result. But you need to start now. Like, stop making people wait. Because they're going to go looking for the solution somewhere else. And it's not nearly as good as what they would get if they had access to you. Right? So, before we go on to hot seats, go ahead and take a screenshot of this or pull out your phone and take a picture of it if you want. Um... If you need to get your book done, that's me. I can help you do that. If you need to make your book a bestseller, I do that. If you want to turn your book into an online course, we do that too. And if you need all four parts of this, the Authorpreneur Network is a 12-year program that walks you through creating all four parts, which is you need to have your course. You need to have your sales funnel. How do you create joint venture partnerships to drive traffic to your sales funnel to close sales and get people in your courses? And then ultimately get into the media so you can drive massive amounts of traffic so you can help so many people. So take a screenshot of that. Go ahead and book a call with me. At the very least, you're going to want to join the Best Sellers Guild if you're not already in there so that we can stay connected. And now I want to go ahead and do hot seats. Anyone who wants to jump in and ask questions or say, here's my book. How do I turn that into an online course? Perfect. I dropped also the links that she was showing on the screen. So those are in the chat for you all. And uh, you can even save the chat. That's a, actually something a lot of people don't realize. There's uh, three little buttons in the chat window. It uh, means uh, more. It's like a menu button. And when you click it, you can save the chat into a folder. Okay, so that's something, uh, and I'll also include that 
when the emails go out to you all with the replays. So not to worry. One way or another, we'll get it to you. Uh, I wanted to say, Kathy, I thought that was uh, brilliant what you said, which was somebody's waiting on you. And I recently heard on a podcast while I was driving, I heard someone say, um, there is some there is someone out there manifesting you today for their future. Mm. And I thought, whoa, yeah. I didn't ever thought of it that way. But that's really true. There's somebody out there praying that you, this right person will show up to guide them to do X, Y, Z diet or better relationship with kids or a partner or, or how do you, how do you start a podcast business or whatever it is? And it made so much sense to me. So I'm glad you said that. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the truth is like, think about it the way that you share, you know, cause they're, you're a really great example, Kevin, like a lot of people are looking for their purpose. Mm -hmm. They know that there's something more. There are other people out there who do some form of mm -hmm. how do you find what you're meant to do in the world? How do you find your purpose? Right. But none of them are you. That's like true. you really, you have such, you yep. have charm and a way of delivering things, especially when it's something difficult that nobody else I've ever seen does. <laughs> you have a background <laughs> like nobody else, your, yeah. your education, everything like you're so unique. Mm -hmm. So somebody would really benefit from learning this from you specifically you and really if, you don't, Some, if you don't have it available needs... and you're not available to them they're gonna go get it from somebody else oh get it they may not be satisfied but they'll spend their money elsewhere yeah. when they're really looking for the flavor of me the the compassionate person who holds space for them as opposed to someone who just gives you a workbook or lets you show up online and is it really interactive? Uh, so there's, that's really true. Great point. Thank you. Well, and you're a really great example of that in another way as well, in that um, before you and I started working together, you had another coach for writing yes. and you did indeed write a book Yes. and um, she has helped other people, mm -hmm. but it just didn't work for you. It did not for three years and several thousand. <laughs> it just didn't work. <laughs> Yeah. And, and then anywhere. we came together and within just months, yeah. poof, my book, my book was year. written in six weeks, which blew my mind because I had struggled for years to get the other book uh, even done and it never got done. It just got, there was always more and more writing, no direction, no. Uh, and so that was what really surprised me. You actually, you taught me what you said you were going to do. And I followed the process. It was easy there were always checking calls. Uh, it uh, You made it so easy for me that I just kind of released into the process and I was shocked at the results because really divine, divine mind came through and out onto my paper and, and my book flowed in a way it never flowed before. Uh, that was amazing to experience. So it's really about just trusting the teacher, the coach and and jumping in. And I know that you'll, I know you're going to guide anybody who's interested in creating a course. I know you'll, uh, what the work that you will do will lead them in the right direction. It's the right flow. I like that word flow. Well, and, and to add to that just a little bit more is that uh, before I met Lisa Nichols and Susie Carter in 2014 mm -hmm. and really started working with them in 2015, I only did books by word of mouth. I only did wow. maybe one to five books a year. And so until they convinced me that I needed to be visible, vulnerable, and authentic and be seen and speak and yes. share it with more people, until then I was just hiding. So how it, dare they make you be seen? <laughs> I know. <laughs> my my social media square, you know, your picture on Facebook and stuff was a flower. Oh, it was a flower because wow, you were hiding. I, I thought at my size that. Yeah. I wasn't supposed to be on stage or in public. Right? Nobody cares about my size. No, they, just, they care. I can make a best-selling book, right? Yeah. I can take your amazing content and I can get it out there to the world. That's what they care about. And that's what I do. So it's what you do. And Joyce, uh, she has a question. I have a question. How can you make your Facebook group a private domain? Hmm. I noticed the Guild Community Domain. Push me to Facebook group. Brilliant. And yes. So yeah, love that. Um, and I really do love doing I my bestsellersguild.com is like everywhere out there. 
um, more so than my, my business name, because I want everybody to go to the group and engage. And so it's, it's actually pretty simple. You just go to GoDaddy, register the domain name, and then it has an option to forward that domain to wherever you want. There's YouTube videos on it. Um, it's really pretty simple. Of course, you can always get support from GoDaddy, but that's it. It just costs me the domain name every year. Yeah. And it's great for branding. Hello. Thank you so much uh, for both of you, actually, Kevin and Kathy. Um, my question, what I've been wrestling with is that when I wrote my book, I put questions in the book and kind of made it a program in a book. And so now I feel like, well, I have a 10 week program, but I don't know how to do a book club because I feel like I'm going to be regurgitating like what I just put in the book. If you're tracking with me, Kevin's not. <laughs> well, but here's the thing. There's more that you didn't put in the book. And there's yeah. more that you've learned every day since then. And they have questions. Because even if it seems really, really simple and you've given them the answer, they're going to say, yeah, but what does it mean for me? Because I'm different. And so what does that mean for me? And you're going to say, no, it's the same answer. <laughs> and, and they're going to say, really? Yeah, really. Because I'm telling you, this answer is the same for you <laughs> as it is for Champa. There's more information that you can add to. Like your book is like this, this great foundation and source. It's, it's the basic of what people know you for. Kevin's book, Finding Your Purpose. But he's so much more. You may have included the questions in the book, which is great. It gets them started. But at the end of the book, they're going to be like, yeah, but what does that mean for me? How do I implement that for me? How is it different for what I do? Well, I have questions about that. What if this and what if that? And then they're gonna to wanna to have access to you because you're somebody's Oprah. You know what I'm saying? Like they think you're pretty fantastic. So you, may, you may run with a lot of giants, but you're huge to them. So for what you were saying earlier, um, I have six chapters and I have a bunch of sub, sub sections. I can use that for my six weeks. And then for the subsections, kind of use that as a twist on a handout and kind of put that in the Facebook group. Yep. Or uh, anything additional that you want them to do. Um, so if it's three questions in your book, maybe it's six questions in the handout, something like that. Or maybe there's uh, a little something extra you want to ask them to do, not just answer the question, but write out an essay or make a vision board or, um, you know, have to speak and declare it out loud or create uh, a mantra for themselves and share it with the group so that they have accountability. Something like there's always more. There's always more that they can do to engage and always more that you can have them do. Think of all the things that you would do if you had a private conversation with them mm -hmm. and just, you know, give them more. Okay. I think it's like really overlooking our own genius because yes. I, it's so simple. I'm like, this is this, like do this. And I literally did that on a uh, podcast interview the other day. I was just rambling and I was like, why didn't I tell her to go in my program? I'm just giving away the keys because that's who I am. I just love to share and go. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Well, and the thing is, is you, that is a, a nice little sampling of it. You can tell them, you know, here's the keys. But if you want to really get guidance going through the process, come join my course. Come join my group. Come hang out where you can have ongoing contact with me and I can guide you through that correctly. But like I, I gave you everything you need to create a, a course tonight. But if you want more and you want ongoing access to me, then you'll want to come join me in the Best Sellers Guild and ultimately in the Authorpreneur Network to really be able to build that and get the connections that I have. But I gave you everything you need tonight. You can take this. You can take this recording and absolutely go right to making money tomorrow. Take sales tomorrow. Absolutely.
but honestly, you guys, you're brilliant. You are phenomenally brilliant. And just because it's easy to you does not mean it's easy for someone else. And it just kind of comes to you, rolls off your tongue. You do it for free too much. Am I talking to anybody? <laughs> but charge for it. You're already doing it. Just, you know, keep giving, but charge for it. Because you're, you're a never ending source of information, inspiration. All you have to do is put in a handout or put in a video or just give them a little something more to do. And I wanted to share, you know, it's interesting, Sharonda, because Kathy uh, touched on an important point, which is it's all about access to you. The, uh, it's really peculiar. You're going to start seeing if you if you have just written a book, people will treat you very different. They will they will put you on a pedestal. They will uh, assume you're an expert. They will be very uh, I've, I've noticed people are very sheepish around me and it's uh, they little themselves. But really what they need is they just they have so many questions. They really just want access to you and they have all to they want they don't trust their own answers. And so they're going to come to you for with lots of questions. And so your book, you know, I'm on a moment of honesty. I have, I don't think I've ever finished a book that I have ever answered all the questions in the book. <laughs> I bought all these books. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go back and answer all these exercises and questions and better myself. And I've never done it. But if somebody had offered a course, I would have taken the course because I want access to the expert to, I want to be in their energy. I want to be in the space. I want to be able to ask questions. I want to be able to present life challenges I'm experiencing today that maybe uh, the Kevin or the Sharonda out there can give me an answer to. And so they're really buying access to you. It's, 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 it, that's really it. It's, they're not so much worried about the process. They really are drawn to you. And that's why this is a fantastic idea for you. I, you know what, Kevin, you're just totally <laughs> stepping my, on my toes right there. Just like, <laughs> so what brings to mind for me oh. is uh, Lisa's book, not just Abundance Now, which is a great book, yeah. but um, the No Matter What book, No Matter What is a meaty, meaty book. I don't know if any of you have it on your shelf <laughs> at the end of every chapter there's an intense exercise of some sort. So I read through the chapter, I get to the exercise, I'm like, whew, okay, I'm gonna do the exercise next because you know, like, ooh, that really took it out of me. It's a lot, it's great content. So I come back and I do the exercise and I'm like, whew, that exercise really took it out of me. I'll come back and start the next chapter. Never have I ever made it through the book. Like I'm halfway through probably because it's that process. It's so intense and meaty. And the book cost me like 20 bucks or something, right? But I spent $8,000 for a retreat with Lisa. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. I would rather have direct access to her, her teachings and direct interaction. And I would rather pay $8,000 to spend time with her than $20 to do her book from beginning you're, to end. You're here. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and you are that for someone. Absolutely. Sharonda, you better save us front row seats. It's your big retreat. Mm. <laughs> Don't forget us. <laughs> any it's questions? It's been a wonderful, wonderful evening with you guys. Does <laughs> anyone have any last minute questions or challenges? Feel free to try and stomp me if you want, or stump me. Cause... Yeah, raise your hand. Raise your hand, you guys, if you have questions. I see Stephanie Carter has joined us. Welcome, my dear. Uh, Miss Joy or Miss May, Miss Mariana, Chanta, did you you all have questions uh, about a course? Any particular? Raise your hand or let me know you're interested. You can wave your hand. We also have some people that'll be uh, tuning in on the replay. You guys all have your marching orders. You have the you'll have the replay of this video, and you all know what to do. I'll be looking for your courses for those of you who don't have your courses done yet. I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> and post it in Bestsellers Guild, right? Absolutely. 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 Let people know. So, you know, when you shine, other people will celebrate you. That's the one thing I've noticed, Kathy, about your group. 
-hmm. they are really engaged and they're very heart centered. And when uh, the few times that I've posted just some celebrational things about either I've created a meditation album or uh, uh, I'm working on some project, 52 sizzle little vi videos from my book, which I created, uh, which somebody helped me create. I was surprised at people celebrating me so much in a community that I wasn't really that active in. And I see it quite often when I'm snooping around to see what are other authors doing? What are, what kind of ideas do they have? What are they creating? And uh, it really is a very engaged group. So that's a nice group for you all to jump into and hang out and, and don't feel like you're alone. You've got the bestsellers guild. It's a big group, 3,500 people, I believe. Yeah. And the thing is, is it's the quality of people. Mm -hmm. uh, this group has been around since 2015 and the people who have stuck around wow. are still engaged with the group. They're just busy. They're busy because they wrote their book, they created the course, and now they have a lot of clients, but they will celebrate you. And like those of you who are already in there, you've seen it before. Like that's really what the quality of people, like you guys, like this quality of people, you're all very heart-centered. You're all very giving. You're all very caring. You want to do something great in the world. You're brilliant people. Imagine 3,500 brilliant heart-centered people who all just want to help and support each other. And you guys get to network and, and do joint ventures together. Yes, Joy. I love seeing your hand up. Do you have a question? Yeah, I just had a quick question that came to my mind just now. I recently self-published an ebook, and it's a short 15-minute read for very specific reasons that are like we talked about. Sometimes we don't finish those great books. Is Do you think this can still apply to an ebook, or do you think it needs to be a physical book in your hand the, no, uh, to create the course? It can absolutely apply to an ebook. It can absolutely apply to an ebook. yes. And the great okay. thing is, is that it's, first of all, saying based on my best selling book is really great for you know referencing and leveraging the credentials of the you and the book and you don't have to specify if it's an ebook or print and you tell them to go get a copy of the book and yeah it's in print or ebook or whatever form you want it to be they just need that content that's it got it okay that was perfect thank you mm -hmm. I had one author who, um, she wrote a book. It was really pretty short. It was like 60 pages or less. And out of one chapter in that book, this one particular chapter really stood out to a lot of us. And she went on to use that chapter in her marketing and created a weekly um, uh, bubble talk. Uh, session that she did every week and then went on to do a whole course out of it based on the one chapter about blowing bubbles. Mm. This really great concept that she discovered. She has a daughter that uh, has autism and she's nonverbal. And uh, one day she was doing a million and one things as we moms and business owners do. And her daughter wanted her to blow bubbles. So she was trying to really quickly blow bubbles and she figured out she could not blow bubbles in a rush. She had to calm down and calm her breathing and take her time hmm. in order to blow bubbles. And this was the concept in this very short chapter in her book that is now an online course <laughs> in full. And of course, everywhere she goes, she gives out little bottles of bubbles. <laughs> so yes, it can absolutely be an ebook. It can be a chapter from your book. It can be something you just touch on in your book that people want more of. It can be the entirety of your book. It, it really, the book is a platform that everything else comes from. I hope you guys are inspired to go and get your courses done. Please, please, please. Absolutely. And come join us in Bestsellers Guild for anything that you need. Absolutely. I want to thank Kathy Kay. Uh, I want to thank you for just coming and sharing as a, uh, not only a, as a business partner, but also especially as a friend, uh, as my coach, just taking time out of your busy schedule to come and, and shine and pour into my tribe because uh, uh, it just makes the world a better place. The more we get out there and share what we're great at, the world uh, definitely is more positive, it definitely has more light, more potential. You've already probably felt the inspiration, the surge of new life force energy, as we call it. And uh, it's just, it really just opens the doors to new possibilities 
somebody needs you. They need you to show up tomorrow with a course and they're waiting for you to do that. And I just celebrate you and thank you, Kathy Kay. Uh, at, and before we go, I want to mention you all. I have mentioned, uh, uh, actually I didn't mention, but I have a gift for you all. Uh, I wrote my book, Your Divine Purpose, A Journey to Fulfillment and Destiny. And uh, from this process of, of talking about discovering your purpose, I really pour, I pulled some core principles out. And this is what my gift to you all is. And I think you're re really going to like it. So uh, this right here, this is my purpose quiz and worksheet. It's really a purpose toolkit. And it has an incredible, truly an incredible uh, 4K forest guided meditation through the Muir Woods of California. It's an actual video that a friend of mine filmed walking through Muir Woods. And I, you're going to hear my beautiful angelic voice in the distance uh, guiding you into an altered state of mind. And I begin to ask you questions that are very important to you and your journey and to discovering your purpose. And when you come out of that experience, now you've got a workbook, which is a, a beautiful PDF, and it has those questions, more teaching concepts, and you get to journal down your thoughts and really begin to open the door to what do I really want to do in the world? So that is my gift to each of you tonight. You know what I'll do? I'll email you the QR code. I'm going to drop the link for you all in the chat. And that'll make it a lot easier for you. This is what the page will look like when you go to the link. You'll see a picture of my book. You'll see a picture of the beautiful galaxy, which to me is the infinite potential of whatever your dreams are. And just fill out a little bit of your details. And again, we'll get that. I'll, I'll drop that now in the chat for you. But I'll also email this out in case you just... Uh, aren't able to do that right now. So this is a wonderful little gift. You can download it, share it with your friends if you want. Uh, just something beautiful for you all. And I want to thank you for being a part of my community, my tribe, for welcoming Kathy into our Garden of Life. And if you have any questions uh, and would like to speak with Kathy directly again, uh, uh, we'll be sending out the contact information for you as well. So you can make an appointment just to have a chit chat with her on the phone or on Zoom, okay? Uh, so I want to celebrate each of you. So feel free to unmute yourself and say goodbye. And I want to I want to thank you again for coming by and visiting uh, visiting this beautiful tribe. Okay. All right. So listen. Have a wonderful, beautiful week, and we will see you all very soon at the next. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. You so thank you so much. Thank you, Kevin. Hi, nice thank to you so see much. you, Chanta. Thank you, thank you. Nice to see you, Joy, Miss May, Stephanie, Sharonda. Thank you. Good night. Hey, Mariana, great to see you. Good night. Good night, everyone. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thank you. You're so welcome. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.